You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop Hi guys, welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name is India Batson and I am a YouTuber on all things wavy and curly. Today I'm going to be showing you how to blend your Lexi hair extensions seamlessly into your natural hair texture. So this is my natural hair uh, with no heat applied to it. I consider my hair to be 2C, 2B waves mixed with some 3A curls. So I'm going to be showing you today some super easy tips and tricks on how to blend your Lexis seamlessly into your natural hair texture. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. And don't forget at the end of this video to check out a link to my channel in the description box down below. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so first I just want to show you how your Luxies come. They come neatly coiled up in this cute little box and when you pop them open, your Luxies look something like this. They're absolutely gorgeous, very soft, very shiny, and very luxurious, which is wonderful. But those of you with wavy, curly, or kinky curly hair know that this isn't going to blend very well with your natural hair texture, unfortunately, because our hair is not as shiny as straight hair and it's not just as soft looking in general so I'm going to show you how to kind of rough up these extensions a little bit and make them blend seamlessly into your hair while still looking healthy and beautiful and fabulous. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with a heat-free method and the first option is simply braiding the hair. You're gonna wanna start by dampening your Luxies. Today I'm using this mixture. It's like a Jamaican black castor oil and rosemary oil and water mixture. You could also use like a sea salt mixture if you have really textured or coarse hair. That would kind of help to roughen up the extensions a little bit. So you're gonna wanna start by braiding the hair. Now, if you have 2A or 2B wave, I would recommend making bigger braids. And if you have a 3C, 4A, 4B curl, then you're gonna wanna do really, really, really tiny, tight braids. Now most curly girls have multiple curl patterns throughout their hair, so I would recommend using different sized braids on the Luxies, and this will kind of help to make it look even more natural as well. Now I would recommend letting your Luxies dry overnight, but if you would like to expedite the process, you could definitely use a hair dryer, but I think that it will last the longest um, and just really look the most authentic if you let it dry overnight. All right, so here is how our weft of hair looks with eight braids locked into place. I went ahead and let these dry overnight and it just turned out absolutely beautiful. So, so perfect for those of you with 2A or 2B waves. If you have a tighter wave or curl pattern, I would recommend using more, more, more braids. All right, so let's go ahead and take these bad boys out. I'm gonna start by using a rat tail comb or you could use your fingers, whatever is easiest for you. And this just gave such a nice like mermaidy wave. I just thought it was really, really pretty, honestly. But if you want to create a more voluminous wavy curl or curls in general, that's what we're gonna show you next. Get excited because it blended perfectly with my hair. Let me show you the difference between the two. This is our mermaid wave. Beautiful, beautiful, fabulous. And then <laughs> next we have our curls on the right side. Let me show you how I created them and pop them into my hair so that you can see the difference it made. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let me show you how to create these fabulous curls. So I went ahead and took a half inch curling iron and I would definitely recommend using a heat protectant on your Luxies just like you would your regular hair, of course. So we're just wrapping it around the barrel and you're gonna wanna let it sit for about 30 seconds or so. Then you're gonna release the curl and I recommend plopping the curl back up into your hand and holding it and letting it cool in that curl shape. I find that this helps your curls to last absolutely forever. Let the hair cuticle close back up in its cold setting, locked in that curl, and when you release it, you will have a curl that will last forever. <laughs> Now next, I just went ahead and raked my fingers through the curls to loosen them up. You can separate them as much as you want. And I actually ended up pulling the hair down taut so that it would kind of help to stretch the hair out a little bit. Um, you can do this as much or as little as you would like to have it match your hair perfectly. All right, let's go ahead and pop these bad boys in. Now I typically part my hair to the right side so I have less hair on the left side of my head. So I like to add a lot of extra Luxies to that side. Super sneaky, I know. Uh, but it ended up looking so great. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see the final result. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so these are the finished results with the curling of the Luxies. I don't even have words. Honestly, like, I'm surprised. It looks amazing, I think. Like, I'm just so happy. I feel like a mermaid, and it's great. So, I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. I, I can't stop looking at the monitor. I'm just genuinely so excited about it. I feel like I'm gonna rock this all the time for, like, photo shoots or, like, special events or, like, date night even. Just to have like fuller, more fabulous, voluminous, wavy curls, like, hello, yes please. I'm so excited. <laughs> now both of these methods are absolutely perfect for those of you who want to really fully embrace and love your natural waves and curls. It's also perfect for those of you who are transitioning. Maybe you used to straighten your hair a lot and now you're trying to embrace rocking your natural hair. Maybe you just had a big chop and you just kind of need a little bit more length or some volume. I think this is the perfect way to kind of adjust back into your natural hair texture. So I personally like the second method a little bit better just because it suits my hair more. Um, the first method I find would be perfect, perfect, perfect for those with 2A, 2B waves. Um, but if you have 2C and above, I would recommend using um, the second method that I showed you in today's video. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And be sure to tag Luxie Hair or hashtag Luxie Hair if you're out rocking your wavy curly Luxies or if you're rocking them straight as well. Be sure to tag them. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the link in the description box to my channel for all things wavy and curly. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.